hello everyone good morning good afternoon good evening all depending on the time we're reaching you guys welcome back to our channel so good to have you guys back here again thank you once again for your continuous and massive support to this channel god bless you my people really appreciate you and we we'll pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen thank you once again guys Yes, my people, as always, we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country. This one is coming from uh, um, the Southwest, Southwest Governors, and the Oni of Ife um, have actually met and then um, they've come to an agreement what to do regarding this ongoing crisis and regarding um, Fulani headsmen and the open grazing that is causing a lot of crisis right now in the Southwest. You know, Fulani headsmen they are the ones committing kidnapping and all sort of criminal activities and the federal government has been quiet they've just been neutral they don't want to take a position president Mohammed buhari does not want to take a position that i'm not in support of fulani heads me or i'm in support he's not saying anything but very well we know that um, from his disposition his body language and um, the sort of um, comments he's been making is obviously supporting our uh, fulani heads me but right now, Southwest governors, they've sat down and um, what they've resolved is quite shocking anyway. It's surprising. We'll get you all of the details shortly. But before we carry on, guys, please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. And also click on that notification bell, guys. Thank you. Just hit on that bell until it turns gray. By that, you'll get all of our um, latest upload as soon as we upload. Thank you once again. Yes, let's get into the news now and grab all of the details. Southwest governors resolved to support cattle breeders in a bid to prevent open grazing. Oyo State Governor Engineer Shei Makinde on Saturday hosted a Southwest security meeting at his office in Agodi Secretariat Ibadan in continuation of finding a lasting solution to insecurity in the Southwest region of the country. The Southwest Security Meeting summoned in Ibadan by the Chief of Staff to the President, Federal Republic of Nigeria, Professor Ibrahim Gambari, had in its attendance the Inspector General of Police, Mohamed Adamu, represented by the Deputy Inspector General of Police, DIG, Mr. David Falawoyi. Others at the meeting included in representative of the Director General of the State Security Service, Mr. Yusuf Mangaji, Bichi, Southwest Governors, Oyo State Service Commanders, as well as members of your State Council of Obas. While briefing State House correspondents on the resolution of the closed door security meeting, the chairman of the Southwest Governors Forum, Rotimi Akiredolo, explained that the Southwest Governors resolved to secure forest reserves in their states and get rid of bandits hibernating there. He added that the governors have also agreed to give support to cattle breeders in a bid to prevent open grazing. Akere Dolo, who maintained the country's borders, are so porous, hinted that the Southwest governors are set to synergize with the federal government in addressing the menace. Nobles FM correspondent Michael Oladejo gathered that the chief of staff to the president, Professor Ibrahim Gambari, Inspector General of Police Mohamed Adamu and the Lagos State Governor Babajide Sanwanlu were absent from the meeting due to unfavorable weather that could not allow their shoppers to fly. However, the Oni of Ife, Oba Adeyeye, Enita, Ogunwosi, Alafi of Oyo, Oba Lamidi, Adeyemi, Olubadon of Ibadan Land, Oba Saliu, Adetunji, and other traditional rulers in the southwest region were present at the meeting. Wow. So what they've resolved now, southwest governors, they've resolved that uh, they will secure the forest. However, they are going to be supporting, um, they are going to be supporting cattle breeders. <laughs> this one, <laughs> I don't know if it's politics that is playing out here once again. I really don't understand because these guys are causing terror. They are causing terror. And we know it very well that they are the ones responsible for all of these criminal activities. They've stated that they will secure the forest. Uh, that is good. But talking about uh, uh, um, supporting them, supporting the cattle breeders, you know, the Mieti Ala Cattle Breeder Association of Nigeria. Those guys, in the first instance, when they had um, the first um, stakeholders meeting, 
we saw their position number one they are not even taking um, responsibility they are not even accepting the fact that these uh, Fulani headsmen are committing a lot of criminal activities their position has always been defending the Fulani's headsmen committing all of these atrocities and right now the governors they've resolved that um, they will support them it's quite it's surprising you know i started by saying that their resolution is surprising the only of ife was there as well and it's uh it's something they've agreed that this is what they are going to do i don't know how this will end um the crisis if this will put an end to the crisis because it has to be there should be no compromise there should be no politics about this these guys are causing terror it's very simple you know remember the other day it was even akira dolo that asked mr president can you kindly tell the country your position what is your stance what is your stand in all of this? Tell us if you are supporting Fulani Hetzman or if you are not. Because so far, so good. We've not seen any reports where uh, criminal Fulani Hetzman, killer Fulani Hetzman have been arrested, prosecuted, sent to jail or something has happened to them. We've not heard any of such reports. And it tells us very well where they stand. And I, I really don't understand. You know, um, the... Ibrahim Gambari was the one who actually called for this meeting, although um, he was not able to attend because of, uh, it was stated that because of uh, bad weather, he could not attend. But um, Adamu, the Inspector General of Police, had his representative there. Southwest governors, they've reserved to support cattle breeders in a bid to prevent um, open grazing. I know very well they are kicking against the open grazing, but... The, what sort of support they didn't expatiate on the sort of support they are going to be giving them is this something that will be at the detriment of um southerners or other parts of the country politics playing out here again anyway nigerians have reacted to this their resolution and it looks like um it has not sat well um with uh with nigerians someone has stated that this is what cannot happen in the southwest i pity egos who are being treated with disdain and levity yet cannot organize themselves People like Oji Uzokalu and Hope Uzodima would rather invite soldiers to kill their people who are defending themselves. Another person here says them, um, they are all really Fulani, wife and slave, as they claim. Another one, for as long as these headers are in the southwest, the killing of our people will continue. You can see reactions coming out. Um, you know, this last person that spoke here is stating that if we continue to support all these Fulani, the killings will not end. It will not stop because these guys will not repent. They are not ready to change their ways. In the first instance, they are not even remorseful. They are not accepting what they are doing as evil. You know, even after the ultimatum was given to them, we can count how many attacks has happened again on farmers. They've still attacked farmers. Are these the people that want to change? Quite shocking. But anyway, guys, that's the news that is just reaching us. This one I just dropped now. Let's hear your own take down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. So I come your way again with more updates. Bye for now and God bless.